Hey there, friends. Once you learn to cook cabbage this way, you won't want to do it any other way. Let's start with a quarter of a cabbage. We chop the cabbage. You don't need to be a star chef for this, just chop it however you like. Add water to a pan. Yes, water, not oil. This is part of the trick. Add the chopped cabbage to the pan, cover it, and let it cook over medium heat for five minutes. This process is key. It gives the cabbage a soft, almost buttery texture while still keeping that crunchy bite. While the cabbage is cooking, let's prepare the rest of our ingredients. Grab a carrot. We're going to peel it and grate it finely. Here, the carrot is like the cabbage's best friend, giving a natural sweetness and that vibrant orange color that makes the dish look amazing. Next, grab an onion. We finely chop it. Have you noticed how an onion can completely change a dish? It's like that secret ingredient that, even though you don't see it, you know it's there doing magic with the flavors. And now, a fresh tomato. We chop it into cubes, thinking about the freshness and juiciness it will bring to the dish. The tomato adds that touch of color and flavor that makes everything look and taste better. Let's check on our cabbage. Has it been five minutes? Perfect. We take it off the heat and drain it in a colander. While the cabbage is taking a break, in another pan, we heat up a bit of olive oil. Add the chopped onion, grated carrot, and half a red pepper cut into small cubes. These three ingredients are going to cook together. And let me tell you, the aroma they release is to die for. We cook them over medium heat for three minutes. Keep stirring. We want them cooked, but not burnt. Then, we add the cabbage we had set aside. Now friends, it's time to mix everything with love and patience. We're blending the flavors, letting the onion, carrot, and pepper become friends with the cabbage. With our ingredients mixed, it's time to season. A teaspoon of salt and a pinch of freshly ground black pepper. It's like putting the cherry on top of the cake. Mix well, making sure every little bit of cabbage gets its share of love in the form of seasonings. Turn off the heat, remove the pan, and get a large container ready. We pour our veggie mix into it. Add the cubed tomatoes and a tablespoon of mayonnaise. You can adjust the amount of mayonnaise to your taste. Some like more, some less. But remember, mayo is like the glue that binds all the flavors together. Now comes the fun part. Mix everything with two forks. It's like doing a dance with the ingredients, making sure each one has its moment to shine. And let me tell you, ever since I tried this recipe, my family can't get enough of it. Cabbage went from being the least favorite veggie to the star of the table. Once everything is well mixed, our cabbage salad is ready to serve. This beauty is perfect to pair with anything, rice, meat, or even just on its own. It's so good it doesn't need much else to shine.